All right, guys. Let's do a. Uh, let's get a real maiden done now. For like I owe you guys a video. You'll note that these are the Aero Balsa blades I've fitted on the aircraft at this time. Uh, they've got a bit more cord than the RPG. They're definitely a more efficient airfoil. In anticipation of the efficient airfoil, I've trimmed the nose down and a bit more to the left than I had for the hops. Uh, what I figured is correct, it should be just about right, hands off, other than this gusty wind. So let's see what happens, fellas. All right, got a bit of wind, getting the pre-spin going. Not very much runway, but I've got a lot more area to fly here. Let's see how she goes, gents. Oh, beautiful. It's lifting off just about like I'd anticipated. That's hands off. Very responsive with these AB blades. I like that. I like this aircraft. Handles very nice, Dave. You've done an excellent job with the design and uh, I honestly think I'll use the other set of blades that you made for me on another project since this is flying so well exactly like this. There's the flyby shot Rich wanted. Touch more left. Let's see what she did. Here's your flyby Rich. I could not be happier, gents. You get comfortable with it. Maybe this tank, maybe the next few tanks, I don't know. I might try ringing her out a bit, but for now, just getting used to it. Just getting used to the aircraft. Okay, I see that uh, a little bit of weird flutter that Rich was mentioning at the higher speeds, but you know what? I don't like flying high speed anyway. In fact, let's bring her around. See how slow we can get. Get down to the ground so I have a reference so you can see how slow she's getting. One of those 2.4 radios so I can get my antenna out of the shot. Sorry. Okay. Well, I managed to drift laterally off of the runway. So, we'll call that the maiden for real this time, guys. Thanks for watching.